So guys, in this video, you are going to learn how to write the differential rate equation and also calculate the rate of disappearance of a reactant and the rate of formation of a product. Okay, let's have a look at the first example. So we have a reaction, two moles of NO reacted with one mole of bromine produce two moles of NOBr. So we have the rate of formation for NOBr is 0 0.089 molar per second. So actually, the rate of formation of NOBr is written as positive. The concentration of NOBr over dt equals to 0 0.089 molar per second so we are going uh, we are going to use this information in our calculation letter all right so the first question asks you to write the differential rate equation all right so the differential rate equation if you refer to the lecture notes show the relationship between the rate of the disappearance of the reactants with the rate of the formation of our product all right so for the differential rate equation, so we have rate is equals to, all right, for reactants, so we know that reactants will decrease with time, okay? So we are going to use the sign negative, all right? And also the stoichiometric coefficient, all right? So we have two moles of NO here. We are going to write it as 1 over 2, the concentration of NO over dt is equals to 1 mole of bromine. So again, the reactant will decrease with time. So we put as negative sign here. So since this one is 1 mole, so 1 over 1, you don't need to write down the 1 over 1. Okay, so D concentration of Br2 over Dt equals to, all right, so we have NOBR as our product. So product will increase with time. We are going to use the positive sign. So since we have two moles of the NOBR, so 1 over 2, D concentration of NOBR over DT. So this is our differential rate equation. Don't forget to write the rate here and also the sign for each reactants and product. So reactants will decrease with time. We use negative sign. Product will increase with with time, we are going to use the positive sign. So B, determine the rate of disappearance of bromine. Okay, so we already have our rate of formation of NOBR here, all right? So which is 0 0.089 molar per second. So we need the rate of disappearance of bromine. So we are going to compare these two, right? So we have negative D concentration of Br2 over Dt is equals to positive 1 over 2 D concentration of NOBr over Dt. Next, rearrange this so that the sign will sit together with the D concentration and OBR over DT. So put one over to here and then we have positive D concentration and OBR over DT. So as you can see here, actually we already have this value which is 0 0.089 molar per second. So substitute this value into this. Next, press your calculator and you will get 0 0.0445 molar per second as your answer. And then write down the rate of disappearance of bromine is 0 0.0445 molar per second. For the second example, we have the formation of hydrazine from the nitrogen and also the hydrogen here, two moles of hydrogen, right? And then the, the nitrogen molecules is reacting at the rate of 0 0.037 molar per minute at a particular moment during the reaction. So the first question 
it asks you to calculate the rate of depletion of hydrogen. So the depletion means the disappearance of the hydrogen since the hydrogen is the reactant. Right. So if you look at the question, the question didn't ask you to write the differential rate equation, but actually, even though the question didn't ask you to write it, you have to write it down. Okay, because from the differential rate equation, uh, you can see the relationship between the reactants and also the product. All right, so the differential rate equation for this reaction is rate is equals to. Okay, so we have one mole of nitrogen, so it is a reactant, so it will decrease with time. Negative D concentration of nitrogen over DT equals to. 2 moles of hydrogen reactant, so decrease with time. So negative, right? 1 over 2 D concentration of hydrogen over DT equals to, we have 1 moles of our product, hydrazines, so positive D concentration of N2H4 over DT, right? So we have our differential rate equation here. Okay, and then if you look at the question, it gives you the rate of nitrogen, all right, 0 0.037 molar per minute. So this one, the nitrogen is our reactant, so it will decrease with time. So this one is the rate of disappearance of nitrogen. So negative D concentration of N2 over DT equals to 0 0.037 molar per minute. So now, they use in minutes, not second, right? So, for the first question, it asks you to calculate the rate of depletion of hydrogen. What you need to do is compare the rate of the depletion of the nitrogen with the hydrogen, right? So, rearrange this so that the negative sign will sit together with D concentration hydrogen over DT. So we have negative sorry one over two times with negative D concentration of hydrogen over DT is equal to negative D concentration of nitrogen over DT. So since we already have this value which is 0 0.037 molar per minute, so substitute it Right, so we don't need the 1 over 2 here. So negative D concentration of hydrogen over DT is equals to 2 times with the value of negative D concentration of nitrogen over DT, which is 0 0.037 molar per minute. And then press your calculator, you will get 0 0.074 molar per minute. And then don't forget to write this down, the rate of depletion of hydrogen is 0 0.074 molar per minute. B, calculate the formation of hydrazine. So to calculate the formation of hydrazine, we are going to compare the D concentration of nitrogen over DT with the formation of hydrazine, right? So B, D concentration of hydrazine over DT is equals to negative D concentration of nitrogen over DT. Okay, so since we already have the value of the negative D concentration of nitrogen over DT, so just substitute it, you will get 0 0.037 molar per minute. So the value is going to be the same. So don't forget to write down the rate of formation of hydrazine is 0 0.037 molar per minute. So that's it. Now you can try to answer the non face to face and also the face to face question for your first week and first hour tutorial.